Imagine this, a woman felt fine a few days ago, but now she has a weird red rash, flu-like symptoms, and a nagging fatigue that just won't go away. She had recently been on a trip to Vancouver Island, and she had gone on a hike where she checked for ticks afterwards and didn't find anything. So it's probably not Lyme disease, right? Not so fast. Up to 50% of people with Lyme disease never see a tick bite or find a tick. And missing the early signs can mean months or even years of complications. Hi, my name is Lindsay Dixon. I'm a pharmacist from Canada, and today I'll show you how to spot Lyme disease early, even when it hides in plain sight. So a woman walks into a pharmacy. She's flushed and achy, and there's a strange red patch growing under her arm. She just got back from a hike on Vancouver Island, as we mentioned. She didn't see any ticks, but now she feels awful. The pharmacist takes a closer look and notices something important. A circular rash with a clearing in the center. Could it be Lyme disease? What is Lyme disease? Lyme disease is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi, a spiral-shaped bacterium carried by black-legged ticks. Now these ticks are tiny, especially in their nymph stage, when they're just the size of a poppy seed. They do not jump or fly, but can attach while a person is brushing by tall grasses, bushes, or other vegetation, like when a person is on a hike. Ticks have been found in many areas of North America, Europe, and even Asia, so even if you don't live in an area where ticks are a problem, if you end up traveling, this is something you need to be aware of. Now what is so sneaky about these ticks is that when a tick attaches and starts to feed, most often the person doesn't even feel the bite because the tick has a local anesthetic that it secretes while feeding. And because feeding ticks can be as small as one to two millimeters, many people don't notice an attached tick. Sometimes they even miss if checking for ticks, as ticks tend to find areas of resistance on the body, like skin folds, waistbands, or even a hairline, which is where they stop moving and start feeding. But if a tick stays attached for 36 to 72 hours, it can infect your bloodstream, causing symptoms within days or even months later. Now you may have seen this common image when people talk about ticks and Lyme disease, but what you probably don't know is that this classic bullseye rash only shows up in about 70% of cases. That means that up to 30% of people never see this rash or never experience any rash at all. Instead, early Lyme disease might just feel like the flu. Headaches, low-grade fever, muscle aches, chills, and fatigue. And in children, the symptoms are a bit different. Children might just seem tired or have a lack of appetite and not present any rash at all. Now, if not recognized early and left untreated, Lyme disease can spread and become very serious. The spearcats that cause Lyme disease can spread to your nervous system, causing facial palsy or meningitis. They can spread to your heart and cause arrhythmias or to your joints, causing long-term arthritis. So how can we prevent tick bites? Since there's no vaccine for Lyme disease yet, prevention is the best way to protect yourself. Insect repellents like DEET or Icardin-based repellents are safe and effective for children over the age of six months and for adults. These should be applied after sunscreen, not before. You should also wear light colored clothing in order to help you see any attached ticks before they migrate to your skin. Stick to well-established trails and avoid tall grass, wood piles, or heavy brush. Try to shower within two hours of being outside. And most importantly, do daily tick checks when you are in an area known to be endemic for ticks. Now ticks love warm, hidden spots, so look carefully. And don't forget to always check your scalp, armpits, groin, waistband, and behind your knees for ticks after being outdoors. So what if you do find a tick on yourself or on a family member? How do you get it off? There's a special technique to this. If you do find a tick, here's what you do. You need to use fine tip tweezers, grab the tick close to the skin, like the image that I'm showing you here, and pull it straight out. Do not twist the tick, do not try to burn it, don't try to smother it or put anything on it. You note the time that it was attached, and then you call your healthcare provider. Now, if the tick was attached and you're in a high-risk area, 
you are likely eligible for a single dose of an antibiotic called doxycycline. This is the mainstay of prophylactic treatment for tick bites, and it stops the spiracate from spreading throughout the body. Even with treatment, you should still watch for symptoms for the next 30 days. Now, when it comes to diagnosis and treatment, Lyme disease is what we call a clinical diagnosis. That means your doctor can start treatment even if your blood test for Lyme disease comes back negative. Why is that? Because early Lyme tests are not always accurate and waiting for a positive result can delay treatment. Most doctors would rather act fast and stop the infection early before it has a chance to spread. Which is why if there's a rash and you've been outdoors recently in an area known to be endemic for Lyme disease, your doctor will likely start antibiotics right away. When caught in the early stages, often just one dose of an antibiotic like doxycycline is sufficient to stop the infection from spreading. And here's something most people don't realize. Lyme disease isn't the same everywhere. The type found in Europe is caused by a different bacteria than North America. So the symptoms, testing, and even treatment can vary. So always tell your healthcare provider where you've been because it matters and it will matter for your treatment. Lyme disease can sneak up on anyone, but with the right knowledge, you can catch it early and take action fast. So whether you're hiking, camping, or just doing yard work, remember to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, and remember, when it comes to tick bites, it's better to ask questions early than to deal with complications later. That's all for today, friends. Take care and stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.